Kind of cool. Did you see Bill Walton's on the call today? Yeah, yeah, I talked to him at Shooter. You got any favorite moments, memories, stories? About my, favorite, my favorite really is watching him play at UCLA. You know, it's my first basketball memory. Um, Pauley Pavilion, 1973, UCLA, Maryland, I remember it well. You can look up the game. One versus two, Len Elmore, John Lucas, uh, Bill Walton. Uh, I think UCLA won by one point, and I walked out of the arena, and everybody was complaining. And I asked my dad, well, "Why is everybody complaining?" My dad said, "The standards are pretty high here. It's not enough to win by one point." So, pa Pauley Pavilion was a magical place for me, and um, you know, UCLA basketball was kind of at the that was the uh, center of kind of the, the beginning of my uh, love affair with this sport. I was uh, walking into that building, hearing the, the band play, and uh, watching that team win basically every single game. Uh, it's a pretty special time. Yeah, it's been fun to get to know him a little bit over the, over the years. Yeah, Bill's great. You know, I've, I've got to know him through Luke a little bit. I see him in San Diego occasionally riding his bike. Uh, he's a uh, He's obviously a little, little nuts <laughs> in a really good way. He's got a great outlook on life. Um, got a lot of spirit, and a lot of joy, and uh, it's fun to be around. Spoke about this numerous times, but the situation that's going on in, in Florida, does it just get to a point for you where it's just, it's just fatiguing to keep going through the same thing and it seems like nothing's being done to resolve the, the issue? Well, nothing has been done. Um, it doesn't seem to matter uh, to our government uh, that children are being shot to death uh, day after day in schools. It doesn't matter that people are being shot uh, at a concert, at a movie theater. It's not enough, apparently, to move uh, our leadership, our government, the people who are running this country uh, to actually do anything. That's demoralizing. Um, but we can do something about it. We can vote people in who actually have the courage to protect people's lives and not just uh, bow down to the NRA because they've financed their campaign for them. So hopefully we'll find enough people, uh, first of all, to vote um, good people in, and, but hopefully we can find enough people with courage to actually help uh, our citizens uh, remain safe and focus on on the real safety issues not building some stupid wall for billions of dollars that has nothing to do with our safety but actually protecting us from what truly is dangerous which is maniacs with semi-automatic weapons man's uh, just slaughtering our uh, our children it's disgusting thank you